two-stroke petrol engine. Petrol is used as fuel in these types of engines, and they are used in applications where a simple and low-cost prime mover is required, like scooter, motorcycle etc. In two-stroke petrol engines, usually all four strokes of the engine operating cycle, suction, compression, power and exhaust, are completed in just two strokes of the piston. In these types of engines, the fuel combustion time is short, while the fuel consumption per horsepower is high. Principle of two-stroke petrol engine in a working cycle is completed in just two strokes of the piston, that is, the engine gets power in every revolution of the frank shaft. This power is obtained as a result of combustion of the mixture of air and petrol in the engine's frank case. These engines are based on auto cycle. Working method of two-stroke petrol engine. The working of this engine can be explained on the basis of its stroke. First stroke. Upper stroke consists of suction and compression, in which the piston below BDC, bottom dead center, above TDC, top dead center, moves towards. As the piston moves up, the inlet port opens, due to which a vacuum is created in the frank case. This blank space, to complete the mixture of petrol and air from the carburetor, the crankcase is filled in. In this way, the work of suction stroke is completed. Due to reaching the top of the piston, the mixture of air and petrol reached through the transfer port in the cylinder above the piston gets compressed in the combustion chamber. Because the transport and exhaust ports are closed by the piston and there is no way for the mixture to come out. There is no path left. In this way, the work of compression stroke is completed in the same stroke of the piston. Second stroke. In this, the lower stroke is power and exhaust, in which the mixture of compressed air and petrol in the combustion chamber is burned by sparking the high-tension current generated with the help of battery or magnets through the spark plug. As the mixture burns, the gases expand and the pressure of the gases falls on the piston. This pressure applied on the piston rotates the crankshaft and flywheel, thereby providing power to the engine. At this time, the piston is above TDC, from BDC moves towards and completes the power stroke. As the piston goes down, the exhaust port opens and the burnt gases of the cylinder come out through its silencer. In this way, the last exhaust stroke of the engine cycle is also completed in the same stroke of the piston. At the same time, the transfer port located just in front of the exhaust port also opens, and due to the descent of the piston, pressure is applied on the mixture in the front case and this mixture comes into the cylinder for the next cycle of the engine through the open transfer port. 